When a capacitor is no longer working, the motor may not start or it will run slower than usual. For your safety, first to turn off the power. To do this, find and switch off the circuit breaker for whichever circuits are involved. If you are working on an outdoor air conditioner, remove the pull-out section in the outdoor disconnect. If the capacitor is in the furnace, turn off the power to the furnace. You can now experiment by turning the fan blade or blower wheel by hand. If it spins freely, the capacitor may be the problem. Sometimes you can tell if the capacitor is bad by a visual inspection. A good capacitor will have a perfectly flat top and bottom. Any sign of bulging, even very slightly, indicates that the capacitor needs to be replaced. However, a capacitor can go bad internally without showing any outward signs. When in doubt, you can experiment by simply replacing the old capacitor with a new one. If the motor still will not run, another part is at fault. A final method to determine the status of your capacitor is to test it with a digital multimeter that has a scale for microfarads. At our store in Downers Grove, Illinois, we offer capacitor testing free of charge. Thanks for watching.